How do I look? I look all right. These ring lights work pretty well. I ain't gonna lie. It's pretty nice. All right, guys. This is the Hoosier Resale channel, and I am the Hoosier Reseller. My name's Tom, and this is my first video. So let's jump into it. Basically, tonight, um, something popped up on Facebook Marketplace. You guys know, you're all resellers or you're aspiring resellers or uh, whatever. You're here because you like to see cool things and people find treasure and resell them and flip them and make money. Um, that's the same reason I'm on YouTube. I am here to show off some stuff because I think it's cool and uh, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, basically, on the Facebook Marketplace, a listing came up today. Um, it was a hat collection. Um, I like hats. Shout out to, uh, the Indiana Hoosiers, uh, for the win tonight against the Maryland Turtles. Uh, always good to beat the Turtles because they destroyed us in the national championship game. Not destroyed us. I take that back. We played a good game. I mean, <sighs> nobody expected us to be there that year. You know, shout out Jared Jeffries. Uh, my boy. I got a lot of rookie cards of Jared Jeffries. He's my home. I love him. Um, so, yeah, we had a great team back then. Uh, miss those guys. Um, but, yes, Hat Collection, Facebook Marketplace. I reached out to them. They said, yes, uh, we will take the deal. It was six boxes of hats, old hats, been in storage for a while. They wanted $40. Um, they had one picture. And the picture was just uh, some random hats. You know, they definitely looked old. Um, if any of you have bought hat collections in the past, you know what you're getting into. Uh, you know the foam is disintegrating. Um, you know it could be dusty and dirty, but you know what? It's fun. That's half the fun. I didn't ask if they were smoky. I didn't ask for any more pictures. I said, I'll take them. You know, let's meet up. Um, and you guys know on Facebook Marketplace, you got to go get them. Um, any extra time you give some other reseller is going to offer more people will jump ship. You know how it is. Um, so I get there and the lady tells me the story, um, you know, about how the hat collection came to be. It was been in the storage auction or storage units for a few years, yada, yada, yada. I said, and she's like, do you want to look at them anymore? I was like, no, let's just throw them in the car. Um, half the fun is just going through the boxes. Um, so at the i'm sure i've already shown the picture but if i haven't you know it'll be here um this is you know the whole collection the six boxes uh but i've picked out my 10 favorite hats out of that box out of those boxes um there's definitely a lot of hats i probably am going to keep a few for myself and uh the rest are going to be on ebay so let's without further ado let's get into it the first hat that is my favorite out of this this is number 10 out of the collection bucks so this hat is a more of a sentimental piece i'm probably going to keep this one um this more has to do with uh, me and my cousin my cousin josh um we would uh when we were little we would always say you know you gotta go buck you gotta go buck go hard go buck i don't know why we did that because we're guys and we're stupid and you know it, it was fun uh, so yeah, that's going to stay in the collection. I'll be wearing that to the next family reunion, Josh. Yeah, so got to go hard. Number nine is this sweet smokers memorabilia, Smooth Joe. You know you got to like that camel. So this camel hat, it is that featherweight beach material, you know, 100% nylon or something. It's not cotton, that is for sure. And, uh, yeah, it's got that smooth little stamp on the back. Smoking Joe. Got to like that. And the nice big patch on the front. This is a great hat. I am not a smoker. Never been a smoker. But, man, you got to enjoy the advertising and the marketing behind it. <sighs> All right. Number eight. I don't know why I love this hat so much. Um, I was going through them with my wife and she was just sitting there, you know, giving me, uh, you know, the courtesy, the courtesy nod sometimes. Uh, but this one, the corduroy green 
with the MMS. If anybody recognizes this hat or this logo, please let me know. Uh, it could be something to do with Northeast Indiana. You know, that's where I'm from. I'm in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Um, and this is just an interesting hat. I just love the corduroy feel of it. How many of you 90s kids used to buy corduroy pants? Come on, you had the corduroys with the vans. We know. I grew up in California. Um, so, yeah, I love this hat. I love the look. For Indiana, it looks like a farm hat. I mean, I'm going to put it up on eBay. It's vintage. It's farm. It's corduroy. It's going to sell, right? Come on. All right, we're four in. This is, no, that's three in. We're three in. This is my next favorite. So the owner of these hats said that her ex, her ex used to work for Red Gold Tomatoes. Red Gold Tomatoes here in Indiana. Uh, they make them just south of Fort Wayne. It's been a factory for a long time. You guys have probably seen these tomatoes in your superstore, in your Kroger, Meyer, Walmart, wherever. You know, it's the good tomatoes for chili. That's what I buy for our chili. Uh, but this one, vintage hat, red gold tomatoes, got the big RGT on there. Beautiful hat, snapback, intact, everything's good. It's clean on the inside, no disintegrating foam on there. Uh, but yes, this red gold hat, love this hat. So that's number six. Number five, we've got another smoker's memorabilia. Your one and only, the most famous, the Marlboro. What does this say? The Snake Pass. So this must be part of the Marlboro Unlimited stuff. Um, on the side, you've got the big Marlboro Adventure Team patch. And on the back, got that huge Marlboro stamp right there. Everyone knows you're a big smoker. It's got that fake leather strap. You know, these are all dusty. I have not cleaned these yet. The, I've only done one little bit of cleaning on the very last hat, and I'll explain more when we get to it. But yeah, you know it's good when it's got the the nice Marlboro tag on the inside. But this is, a, this is an awesome hat. You know that's going to sell on eBay real quick. What a great look. All right, what's this? How many have we gone through? One, two, three, four, five. So this is number four. I think I got 11 hats here. How did I do that? I don't know. I don't know how I did it. Next up, International Harvester. So this is a old machine company. Uh, they made machinery. They made uh, cars. Uh, they made this vehicle called the Scout. This is a vintage hat with the Scout on there, International Harvester logo right there. Um, they were a big company here in Fort Wayne. Um, lots of people worked there. A lot of people retired from there. Uh, this one's great. This one is uh, made in the USA from Swingster. So if you look up Swingster on eBay, you'll find this hat. Um, really cool hat. It goes for about 30 bucks on eBay. Uh, debating on whether to keep this one or not i don't know it's a cool hat i love that scout patch though so yeah it's probably going on ebay i like money um all right next up this is number four i believe number four goodyear hat but wait it's not just goodyear goodyear racing on the back again have not cleaned this one it's pretty dirty dusty that's okay it's got the Goodyear Racing on the inside. Really clean though. I mean, you can tell it's just been sitting in storage for a while. But the best part about this hat is I have one just like this in the collection or in, the, in a different box. But the best one about this is it's got this really nice patch on the front. And I don't know if this was done after they bought it or if this was done at Indianapolis at the Motor Speedway. But it's got the Indy 95, 1995. So it, it's a great way to stamp the hat, make sure we know what year it's from. Um, yeah, really clean. This is going to go for good money on eBay. I know it. And it just needs a little, little tender love and care. All right, next up, number three. We've got the Vintage Snapback Trucker. 
cat. And this is that old school logo. If you look up cat hats and look up vintage cat hats, you'll see some of them that have the triangle in the middle. That is the newer logo. This is an older logo. That is how you know you got something good, something vintage, something worth a little bit more. I'm not a hat expert at all. I just like hats. I just know that this one, this is this will go for some good money, especially being all yellow. You do not see a lot of these cat hats in the all yellow. A lot of black ones with the yellow logos. So this one's pretty good. You know, snapbacks intact. I don't see any cracks or anything. Only thing that would have made this better is if it was made in the USA, and it is not. But yeah, still a clean looking hat. No disintegrating foam. The foam is actually pretty good in here. I love to see that. All right, now we're down in the top two. These hats, these two hats, they almost made me cry. I'm serious. I, I got a little teary-eyed when I saw these. And the owners picked one out. They said that this was in there, and I had no idea what it was at first. And apparently it's called a painter's cap. Um... But once I saw it, I knew. I knew it was going to be good. We've got this vintage Ozzy Osbourne from Black Sabbath. You know, you know, and also, you know, MTV and his reality shows. It's not as good, but Ozzy Osbourne. Look at the graphics on this painter's cap. This is stupid. This is stupid amazing. It's like one of those single stitch from the 80s t-shirts that's so thin. You just you feel like it could just blow off your skin. This one feels like it's about to rip in my hands. I'm serious. I don't know what to do with it. You can tell it had some kind of like felt lining in here. It's uh it's kind of going away. I don't know if this is going to work or not. I I'm afraid to put it on. It's also kind of fitted. You know, it stretches a little bit, but not a ton. Um, so, yeah, it's almost, uh, I don't know if it's for a small head or what, but I cannot put this on my head. I got a big-ass head. Um, so, yeah, the Ozzy Osbourne painter's cap. It's really sweet. It's definitely going on eBay. I'm definitely going to price this up high. I did not see anything like this on eBay. Um, there are some other Ozzy Osbourne painter's caps, but nothing like this one. All right, next up is my favorite one. It's the only one I put a little bit of water on to get cleaned up for the video. Um, it's that vintage old John Deere snapback trucker cap made in the USA. This has got the K products. I don't know if you can see that. K products is the one you're always looking for if you find the old John Deere. Um, what a great hat. And you know this is the old logo. Um, the newer logo, the Deere's the deer's legs will be more curved in, kind of like an oval. Um, you'll notice this one. His back hind legs are up higher than his front legs. Um, that's a that's a dead giveaway for knowing you've got an older John Deere hat. Um, big patch on the front. That's what you want. you got the two-color tone. It's a great-looking hat. This is my number one hat out of the hat collection that we found today. Um, I'm going to lay them all out on the dining room table or on the floor or something do a nice big pan of all the ones that i'm keeping um, overall there was probably 250 hats um, and i dug out about 50 that i'm going to either list or keep um, a lot of marlboro hats if you're looking for marlboro i got them and if you have a friend or family member that worked for red gold or um, is at red gold right now and you're looking for a hat a lot of these are new old stock they still have the cardboard still have the tags um, so really cool stuff. Some other uh, IndyCar stuff. Uh, the only thing missing out of this whole hat collection was basically some IU hats. Come on, it's Indiana. I found this hat collection in Indiana. No IU hats, no Notre Dame hats, no Purdue hats. I don't like Purdue, but it would be cool to find a, a vintage Purdue hat. Um, yeah, that's basically all that was missing. There were some random Georgia hats, but they weren't vintage. Um, so yeah, I appreciate it, guys. Checking out the first video. Um, I'll do some more about me and some additional videos down the road. I don't know how often I'm going to do this, but I just wanted to get this one out because how it, the hat collection got me. It got me to get the first video out. I hope you enjoyed it. It's getting a little long, uh, so I'm out.
bamba. All right. Camera's over there. <laughs>